So today I'm going to be showing you all how to stay organized for school using a normal binder. Now in the front, the first step is to signify what your binder is for, whether it be a certain subject area or for your entire school year. So this one that I have right here, here is for school year 2011 through 2012. So I know that all of my subjects are in this one binder. And this already helps you get organized because you'll know exactly where everything is and all your handouts and everything will go right into this binder and you won't be able to lose anything. My second tip for getting organized is to find a binder that has pockets in the front. By having pockets in the front, if your teacher at the end of class gives you a handout, you can just slip it in and place it in your binder later. Or you can also, if you have homework, you can put your homework in the front pocket and then complete it and then put it back in the pocket. So in case your teacher decides to collect your homework, you can just take the homework out and hand it to her and not have to unbind the clips on the binder. My third step for being organized is kind of giving yourself a preview of what's to come in the week. So on this piece of paper, I have this week and I would put the date of the week, Monday through Friday, and under each Monday through Friday, I put what is due or what I have going on. And to keep myself even more organized, I have homework and tests in blue, so I know that those are school related and they have to get done. In green, I have doctor's appointments, or if you have any appointment during school or after school or anything like that, put it in a different color, so I have it in green. And then school events um, are in pink, so on Thursday there's no school, which is kind of everyone's favorite. And then in orange I have baseball game, or softball game, or if you're into athletics or in a certain club and you have events for that, you also have your own color for that to keep you more organized. The fourth step is to get dividers like I have here. And on these dividers, I just have the generic math, social studies, English, Spanish, and history or science. And so by having these, it signifies what the class is and it also, you can just flip right to the subject. So if I wanted to get to science, I would just pull on the orange and I would get to my science notes or science handouts. And also if a teacher in a certain class gives you a handout, you can just put it in your binder and go and not have to worry about it. And this way you know where everything is. You won't have to be looking for all of your binders. It'll be all in one place. So those are my four ways, four steps in getting organized for school and a simple way using your binder.